I'm Nam and I'm a young person who's involved in 42nd Street. Today I'll be interviewing Sasha. So can you introduce yourself and the group you're going to be talking about? Yeah, so I'm Sasha. I'm one of the counsellors here and um, I'm going to be talking about the Dealing with Depression and Anxiety group. So who is this group aimed for? The group is aimed at young people who are aged between 18 years old and 25 years old who are struggling with symptoms of depression and anxiety. Okay, and what can a young person expect from this group? The group is seven weeks long, sometimes it's eight weeks, so it'll run from seven to eight weeks long. It runs with a structure that is underpinned by a model called CBT, which is Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. So we work using different techniques around emotions, feelings and thoughts and we aim to um, strengthen young people's coping mechanisms who are struggling with those things. So what does this support look like? So there are two facilitators who will run the group um, and it will run every week for about an hour and a half. We'll have up to 12 young people who come and at the beginning it can be really nerve-wracking for the facilitators as well to begin with. But the idea is that over the weeks, everyone starts to build up their confidence and um, starts to share a little bit about what's going on for them. And what we try to do is we work with um, the metaphor of a tree and we look at the roots, uh, the trunk and the trees and the branches. And we see the roots as the causes for whatever's going on. And the group tries to focus on moving up from that. So that would be the trunk, which is the feelings and the emotions that are experienced as well as the branches and the leaves, which are the behaviours that happen as a result. So we try to say that the root causes are saved for one-to-one -one work. We think that that's a really nice way to describe what the group's there for, and it's to focus on the feelings, the emotions, and the behaviours that happen as a result. And as the weeks go by, young people identify different feelings and thoughts. They get the opportunity to realise that they're not alone in it, um, and they get to work creatively with other young people. and not one single young person has come away from the group yet and said that they didn't get something from it. What happens after support? So after the group is finished? After the group ends, young people can be at different stages of their support with 42nd Street. So some young people will already be on the waiting list for waiting to begin their one-to-one -one support. Other young people will have already been seeing someone for one-to-one -one support and they will have completed that and other young people will still be having their one-to-one -one support at the same time. And some young people will only be there for the group. So the opportunities are pretty much endless. You can be in support, you can have support after, you can have had support before, but at any time with 42nd Street, you can always re-refer yourself, depending on where you feel like you are, whether you feel like you've received enough support, and you can speak to one of our workers to figure out whether you think that there'll be another part of our service that's right for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.